Youth group, what's going on? Verse of the day here from Ephesians chapter one. First of all, I'm coming to you straight from my door. Look at my Nintendo poster. That's right. Uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. That thing was state of the art in 1985 uh, when I was five years old. But whatever. All right. So um, thankfully we have, you know, cool things like Xbox and Nintendo Switch now. Um Okay, but back to the Bible. Back to the Bible. Here we are. Ephesians 1. I'm going to read you what I wrote down here from uh, Ephesians 1, 11 and 12. It is in Christ we find out who we are and what we are living for. Now, this is from the message translation, a little different from the NIV. But, but nonetheless, I'll keep going. Long before we first heard of Christ and got our hopes up, he had his eye on us, had designs on us for glorious living, Part of the overall purpose, he is working out in everything and everyone. Now, this is a cool, cool verse. Check this out. It is in Christ we find out who we are and what we are living for. It's in Christ we find out what? Who we are. It's not uh, on Instagram. Okay, it's not with our friends or by what we accomplish. Okay, it's not by being the all-time best gamer of the universe or by getting that degree from college or whatever else. It's not going to be by anything. It's not, gonna be, it's not about how many followers you have or how many likes that post, uh, you, uh, you know, you whatever. It's not that photo. It's not about any of that. A lot of times we are so wrapped up in the things that we do and the stuff we post on social media that if people aren't like goo goo gaga all about loving our posts and our pictures and laughing at the things that we thought were funny and all that stuff we just think oh my gosh i'm worthless nobody likes my my instagram nobody follows me on uh you know whatever oh my gosh tiktok okay but yeah like we wrap up who we are in all of that stuff that's worthless and like is it fun and entertaining sure like you know is scrolling through instagram entertaining yes it is yes it is and tiktok i'm sure many of you are scrolling through tiktok endlessly just being entertained wildly out of your mind but that's not who you are we find out who we are in christ it is in christ we find out who we are and what we are living for and and here's the other thing the second part of this verse Long before we even first heard of Christ and got our hopes up, he had his eye on us, okay? God has a plan for you, okay? God has a purpose for your life. You may not know what it is yet, and that's okay. Like, you don't need to have it all figured out right now. That is all right. God has a plan for you. God has a purpose for your life. There's a reason you are here on this earth, okay? And it's not just to, you know, hang out with your buddies or to watch Netflix, or reruns of The Office. Okay, God has a plan for you and a purpose for you. So even though you're wandering around this world, you know, in junior high, high school, all this stuff, thinking, man, I do not know what the deal is with, you know, what am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to do? Who am I? All these questions we, we struggle with in, in middle school and high school. God has a plan. He already has a plan. He's had a plan for you. Before he, you even knew that you existed, God had a plan for you. He had his eye on you, the Bible says. In this version, I love this version. He had his eye on us and designs on us for glorious living. Like he's got a plan. So I just want you to think about that today. If God has a plan for your life. Boy, let's let's seek him to find out what that plan is. Let's ask him and pray, God, what is your plan for my life? What is it you want me to be doing? Who, who am I supposed to be? And the answer to all these questions are only going to be found in Christ. Okay, not in anything else. Not in anything else. It is in Christ we find out who we are and what we are living for. What an awesome verse. All right, have a great week. We'll talk to you next week. Bye.